about that? <laughs> it was actually born out of um, recognizing that Caribbean women operate in leadership positions across industries pervasively, yet are not always visible. And the industry that I noticed is showing up a little bit um, more obviously towards the end of last year was in the conversation about Carnival and who owns Carnival and who leads Carnival, you know, because I guess so much was evolving to, to pivot Carnival. So, but really it was a confluence of that and the, the rise in cases of women being um, abused or murdered and not necessarily that it has not been happening, but a media spike at least in the cases that we became aware of. The conflation of that brought a group of us together who are some of us living outside of the US and, and me living here. My, my main co-founder is Nakia Rivea, who's actually head of research at Twitter. So the combination of our skill sets and, and then the diaspora meets the resident community of women in Trinidad pushed us to, to, to forge something that really is conversation-based um, for the time being, but also re reaching into a bit more of a database approach of identifying where on the spectrum do we as Caribbean people recognize women in leadership? How do we define leadership? And how do we build capacity for leadership from a feminine perspective, not necessarily from a male-female perspective? So who she feels she is was turning a phrase upside down of acknowledging when someone steps out to be in a position of leadership, let us celebrate that rather than define it as something somehow derogatory, you know? And, and I think maybe this is a sum total of many of our experiences as women, Caribbean women leadership being put down for stepping into a space of authenticity.